for the automation system to be able to feed metadata so that we can get it into the stream or the RDS encoder, um, the Omnia 9 has a built-in web server. And so we're going to start by looking at what's the address of the Omni 11 on our network. System information. And the host name is Omnia 9-99910. Well, that would be a prototype serial number, but that'll work. So now we're going to go to this computer, a uh, regular Windows 7 PC. Here's Internet Explorer. And now let's type in this address. And as it says in the manual, we will type HTTP and then the host name, Omnia 9-99910 colon port number. And the port number, as it says in the manual, is 7380. Welcome to the Omnia 9 HTTP server. So this is a web server, uh, but it's not actually uh, designed for human use, but rather for, um, for automation. Because if we go up here and list the parameters, uh, well, let's, um, uh, here's a list of every single parameter in the, um, in the Omnia 9 for all the different processing cores, including the uh, RDS encoder and streaming. Uh, let's do a search here for metadata. There's the metadata parameter, so we'll click on that. And now we see what the uh, metadata currently is. Lady Gaga, bad romance. And now we will type, uh, we go to the URL field and type in equals hello world. Enter. Now we will go to the laptop over here, which is receiving the stream. And, there, and there's the updated metadata. That's how easy it is, and it works exactly the same way for RDS. Uh, all the, uh, all the um, automation system has to do is to, um, is to uh, visit this URL with the, uh, with the currently playing song name. And that's how you set up a stream with the Omnia 9. I'm Leif Clayson, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out the other videos where I show some, uh, a lot of the other cool features.